In this c -sharps Basics video, we're going to go over a few of the solution and project properties. First, we're going to open the solution properties page. Then we're going to go ahead and set the startup project. Then we're going to open the project properties page, look at the application section, look at the assembly name and default namespace sections, set our target framework, set our output type, and then we'll select our startup object. In the build section, we're just going to go ahead and select the platform target. To open the properties page on your solution, simply right click on the solution in your solution explorer window and select properties from the context menu. Additionally, with the solution selected, you can go to the properties window and click on the wrench icon in order to open the properties page of your solution. One important property to understand about your solution is which projects should be starting when you first run the solution. In this case, we have only one project that's set for startup, and that would be the basic.course. If we had multiple projects that we wanted to start when we first run the application, we would go ahead and select multiple startup projects, and then change the action drop down to either start or start without debugging. To open the properties page of your projects, simply right click on the project, and from the context menu, click on the properties section. Additionally, if you have your project selected, you can click on the wrench icon and that will also open the project property page. Let's take a look at the application tab first. Here on the project properties page, you can change either your assembly name or your default namespace, but it is not recommended. Keeping your assembly name and default namespace name the same as your project name makes it easier for you to locate where each one of these things is later on. You can change your target framework to a different version of the .NET framework by simply clicking on the drop down below. This is useful for when some of your operating systems that your application might run on might be a different or lower version of the framework. Here under output type, we can change what type of application our project is set to. We can change it to a Windows application, a console application, or a class library. Let's go ahead and keep this a console application for now. Just like with the solution properties page, where you could select which project you wanted to run when the application first started, you can also select which class object should be the first object to run when your project runs. In this case, we can select the basic course.program. Under the build section, the most important property for you to understand is the platform target. Here we have any CPU, but you might be targeting specifically 32-bit or 64-bit CPUs. Here you can make that selection, but typically any CPU will work just fine. For now, these are the only properties that we need to cover.